Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to part five of my Thanksgiving Thursday series. This is actually going to be my last video on this series because next Thursday is Thanksgiving. How crazy is it that it's seriously next week? That's just, it blows my mind. So this will be my last video for you guys, but I had a lot of fun making these videos. So I do want to continue doing these types of things. Obviously it's not going to be um, for Thanksgiving specifically, but just keto food, you know? because man, we can have a lot of yummy food. So I really want to uh, provide you guys with some other options as well uh, for our favorite things that we can have on keto. Definitely stay tuned for that in the upcoming months. So today I am excited for this video because we are going to be making garlic Parmesan knots. So uh, I love bread. I love garlic knots. I love garlic. We can't have bread on keto, but there is always a substitute for everything. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to make garlic Parmesan knots. This recipe is from All Day I Dream About Food. Girl, you and me both. She is awesome, and uh, yeah, so we're gonna make one of her recipes today for some garlic knots that maybe you can add to the table this year. And also for my bonus dish, it's actually going to be a sweet this time. I did only one dessert uh, for this series. I only did my uh, keto pumpkin cookies, so I wanted to add something else. I'm gonna be showing you at the end how to make keto pumpkin cheesecake bars. These look so delicious. The recipe looks very simple, and I really wanted to make it, but I didn't get around to it, and I just went with the, the garlic knots uh, for today's video, but I'm gonna put it in at the end of this video as my bonus dish, because guys, they look really, really good. <laughs> All right guys, without further ado, let's get into the video. I am going to show you the ingredients that you're gonna need to make these knots. All right, so for the uh, magic mozzarella dough, you're gonna need one and a half cups of mozzarella cheese, a half a cup of almond flour, a quarter cup of coconut flour. You're gonna need a quarter teaspoon of pink salt, two teaspoons of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and five tablespoons of melted butter, and also one egg. And for the garlic Parmesan butter, you're going to need uh, three tablespoons of melted butter, so one stick total for this entire recipe. You're gonna need two teaspoons of minced garlic, a half a teaspoon of parsley, two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese, and three quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. All right guys, so you just wanna preheat your oven to 350 and line a large baking sheet with either parchment paper or a silicone liner, which I have already done that. I'm using my silicone baking mat. And now we're gonna combine the almond flour, coconut flour, baking powder, garlic powder, and salt in a bowl. All right, so now we're going to melt the mozzarella cheese on low heat in a large saucepan. And we just wanna heat it up until it's all melted and we can stir it together. All right, and now we're going to uh, put in the melted butter and the egg. Now we're gonna add in the flour mixture until the dough starts to come together. And it's still gonna have some large streaks of cheese, so you can expect that. All right, that looks good. Now we're gonna put it on a parchment lined surface and then we're gonna knead it until uh, it comes together. All 
All right, now we're going to divide this in 16 pieces. All right, now we're gonna roll each portion into a seven inch log, and then we're gonna tie it into a knot. So let's go ahead and try and do that. <laughs> All right guys, I have eight garlic knots here. I just made half of the batch because honestly, <laughs> that whole process was uh, very complicated. So these do not look pretty at all, uh, but hopefully they taste great. All right, so in a small bowl, we're gonna whisk together the butter, Parmesan, garlic, salt, and parsley. I just put a quarter teaspoon more salt than I should have. Oops, that's okay. All right, and we're just going to brush that onto the garlic knots. Um, it says to use half of it before you bake and then the rest of it after they're done baking. I only have half a batch of knots though, so I'm not going to do this whole bowl, but we're just gonna brush some over them now. All right, now we're going to bake them for 15 to 20 minutes. All right guys, they are done. I just took them out of the oven and then I put some of the garlic Parmesan butter on them and we are going to go ahead and try them. So that looks pretty good, right? Looks good. Let's go ahead and taste them. Hmm. Those are good. Those are good. Like I said, I put a little bit too much salt in the garlic Parmesan mixture, uh, so it's a little salty, but that's really good. I love garlic. You guys know I love garlic. Those are good. All right, guys, that is it for this video. If you liked it, give me a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And uh, yeah, if you decide to make these or any of the dishes that I've shared with you, definitely let me know. And also let me know which one of my videos is your favorite. I would love to hear. All right, guys, stay tuned for the bonus dish, the keto pumpkin cheesecake bars. Mmm, just wait till you see them. I'm gonna share that next. All right, guys, happy Thanksgiving. Bye.